Uh, we're going to do some work with Lesson 4.2 using the partial quotients division algorithm um, as opposed to the traditional, and I'll show you that in a different video. But um, before we start any of our dividing with this, if you would like to, once we get the hang of it, you might not even decide to do this, but I've got a chart over here. And using this chart can help us find some partial quotients, um, some multiples that will help us. So when we're using this chart, we start by looking at the divisor. In this case, the divisor is 6. So we're going to use 6, and we're going to multiply 6 by each one of these numbers. However, some of these aren't going to be useful with this because it's going to give us answers that are bigger than 143. Whenever we multiply our divisor by, our divisor by these numbers over here, the answers need to be less than the dividend. If it is not, it's too big and we don't need to use it. Because of that, I always like to start at the bottom. So 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 10 is 60. 6 times 20 is 120. Now if you notice, 6 times 20 and 6 times 2 are going to be similar. 6 times 20 is just going to have a 0 at the end of the 6 times 2 answer. Now, if I think about this, 143 is my dividend. Right here, 120 is pretty close to 143. If I multiplied 6 times 50, that's going to be 300. And that's, that's too big for this problem. So I don't need to use 50, I don't need to use 100 or 200 for this. Now that I have um, some numbers over, to, numbers over here, I'm going to come back to my problem here, and I'm going to start doing some dividing. And I'm going to find partial quotients. The first number that I want to find from here needs to be as close to this number as possible. Now, you might be able to get closer than the numbers we have over here, but this is just a, a reference to start with. So the, the, number, the biggest number that we have here that's close to our, our dividend is 120. So I'm going to write 120 right here. This is a multiple of 6. Multiple of 6, 120. And 6 times 20 equals 120. So 20 is going to be my first partial quotient. It's the first part of my whole answer to this division problem. After I have, after I have um, got these numbers written down, then the next thing I do is I subtract. 3 minus 0 is 3. 4 minus 2 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So I have 23 left. 23 is what I still have remaining to divide up into six groups. I'm going to come over here to my, um, to my chart. I need to get close to 23. Well, 120, 60, and 30 are all too big, which leaves me with 12. Now, I have some choices here. I could use 12, or I could do some thinking in my head, if, see if I can get even closer. For this I'm just going to use 12. So again, this multiple, 12, is going to be written on the left side of the line. And there were um, 6 times 2 is 12. So this is my next partial quotient. 23 minus 12 is 11. The divisor is still smaller in my number here, so I have to come back over here to my chart. Well, all these numbers are too big, which means there's only one more 6 that can fit in. So I subtract, I'm left with 5. 6, my d divisor, is bigger than this, so that means I'm done dividing, and this 5 is a remainder of 5. Once I'm done with my dividing, I take my partial quotients. I'm going to add those up. So 20 plus 2 is 22, plus 1 is 23. I'm going to write that up here at the top. 23 
and I have 5 left over. 23 remainder 5. For our next practice problem, I would like for you to uh, work th write this down with me, either on your scratch paper or on your whiteboard, and I'll give you a, a second or two to write that down. Go ahead and hit pause, and when you're ready, you can start up again. Now, we're, we're going to start by multiplying our divisor, which is 4, times all of these numbers on our list. Remember to keep in mind, does... My answer after I multiply, is it close to this or less than this? If it's bigger, it's we don't need it. So start on my chart, 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 10 is 40. 80. 200. 400. And 800. Now that I have my multiples down, I can start going over to my division problem. And I need to look for the biggest number over here that still is less than this. And on my chart, that biggest number is 800. Now, if we maybe did some thinking, if we continue this up even higher, we could get closer to this. But we're just going to use this chart right now. So 800 is my biggest multiple of 4 that can get to here for my chart. Once I've done that on this side of the line, then I write down what that uh, partial quotient is going to be, and that's 200. 200, 200 times 4 is 800. Now, once I've done that, then I'm going to subtract Subtracting is very important. If you don't subtract correctly, you won't get the correct answer. Now, my next number that I'm going to check is 1,227. I'm going to check my numbers over here again. And um, 800 works again. So I'm going to write my 800, my multiple, on this side. I'm going to write my partial quotient, which is 200 again on the right side and then I go ahead and subtract now notice these numbers are straight across from each other they're on the same line if I had lines drawn out so I go to subtract it's 7 2 in this case 12 minus 8 12 minus 8 is 4 so now I have 427 left to divide into four groups. Uh, I'm going to come back over here to my chart. Well, this is too big. This is too big now. So I'm done using that one. And now I can look, and my next number is going to be here, 400. So I'm going to write my multiple of 400 on this side of the line. I'm going to write my partial quotient on the right side of the line in this for this one it's 100 then I'm going to do my subtracting 7, 2, 0 I've, now I have 27 left to divide I'm going to come down here and I have 20 so I get 20 here my partial quotient is going to be 5 and then um, I can subtract I'm less with 7 Run out of space here. Um, coming over to my chart, 8. My last multiple is too big for this, but f there's still enough for my, div my divisor. So I'm going to put 4 here, and on the right hand side of the line will be 1, and then 7 minus 4 is 3. And I'm going to write that right there because I just I ran out of room. And um, um, 4 is bigger than 3, so I'm done with my dividing. 3 is going to be my remainder. Now, with, now I'm done with my dividing because I have my remainder. Now I need to add up all these partial quotients. So 200 
plus 200 is 400, 500, 505, 506, 506, and I have three left over. So there's a, a glimpse of doing some uh, partial quotient division. Um, I'll show you how to do just the traditional method in another video.